Welcome to Nevada County Narrow Gauge Railroad Museum where they got the number five engine out where they've been working for many, many years on a very long restoration. They're going to get this engine completely operational and steamed up in a matter of days. Let's go take a quick tour. Okay, well here she is, the number five locomotive from the Nevada County Narrow Gauge Railroad. And Dan, and your name again? Amy. Amy are two of the main... Uh, well, what is, your, what, what is your job around here? I'm the shop foreman. Uh-huh. So I sort of make sure everything gets done and try to get everybody, keep everybody busy. So the big thing with number five is a new boiler. Yes, the new boiler. Uh, we traded, uh, did some horse training with uh, Carson City. We got a new boiler. And when I first got here, I think it was, what, March of 18. No, March of 19 I started here. We started cutting the old boiler out, and the only thing we saved off the old boiler was the smoke box. That's the front end. There. Right up here. Yeah, and then we uh, married that back up, and it fit perfectly. And then uh, after that, we got a few more things done, and we sent the boiler up to Sierra Metal Fab, where they did the rest of the fabrication, the dry pipe. And we had our welder. Uh, we had to hire a welder who was certified to do all the welding on it, add fittings and stuff like that. So, uh, and so now it's all, it's basically certified, bona fide, qualified, inspected. and inspected. Yeah, we just got our uh, state cert a couple of weeks ago. We got our one uh, last week. And so that means you steamed her up or to put it under pressure or they just uh, visually inspected hydro it? Hydro test only, just okay. water. I'm hoping to make a uh, fire maybe uh, coming up Monday or Tuesday. After that, steam is next. Wow, so it, it, it could be a, any matter of days, Tim, we get this thing steamed up, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, keep me posted on that. It'll be a real historic event. Uh, Tim, brief skin on the configuration on this. What do you call this configuration? Uh, it's a 260. They call it a, a mogul. 260, so, yeah. which means? Two uh, pilot wheels, uh -huh. six driving wheels, uh -huh. and no trailing Nothing wheels. In the back. And uh, fully grossed out. You said this thing weighs in at about 50. 20, 25 tons, isn't it? Yeah, 27, like 27. 27 tons. 27 tons. Yeah. All right. So originally, perhaps wood-fired, but today you're going to be running... Number two. We converted over to oil. So you're going to be running that number two diesel in here. Yep. And it pipes over underneath and it comes up on the side of the engine to a fire control valve. That's what this is for. This controls the amount of fuel to the burner. The burner's sitting right down there in the bottom. I don't know if you could see it way down there. It's way on the bottom. It's like a little square like four tubing in there. And then that mixes with steam and it animizes the fuel and the steam come together a fine mist and that's what produces the flame. And then of course, boiler, water jacket, make steam. This is our throttle, lubricator, sight glass, injectors are on each side. We got all of our steam appliances. There's a steam pump, uh, air pump. There's the, you know, the dynamo blower up front few other things. What, is, what are these three? For, those here, are, for example? those control the amount of oil into the lubricator. Oh, okay, gotcha. There's a line to each cylinder, and right. one of them goes to, to our air pump. You see a lot of things coming in threes, and then like the other locomotive, we tri -cox. see these three here. Yeah, these are tri -cocks. This is a manual way to check your, your boiler water. So besides your sight glass, boiler water is critical. So oh, so you just let it go. Yeah, so if you crack okay. this one and you got no water, you're, you're probably oh, you're, you're already gone. Bad shape. So, so yeah. yeah, and yeah. you always want to hold about a half a glass, and you want to make sure it's always moving because if it's not moving, it means so it's in the event up. of an emergency, you got a way just dumping the fire out of the thing. What do you? How do you? You got to kill kill the source, kill the fuel. Well, in this case, okay, you just kill the fuel. All right, gotcha. Yeah. And, and then uh, what about in an old wood-fired steam locomotive? If you cut gotta, air and just stop hit the damper. Fuel. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Huh. Choke, or put more wood in to choke the choke fire. it out. It just all depends what condition, how hot you were burning it initially. So throttle here, and then Johnson bar this is for a Johnson forward bar, forward reverse. Yeah, and that just diverts which way the steam goes into the pistons. It just pistons. changes your valve configuration. So you have a lot of valve opening or just a little bit opening. Mm -hmm. So a little bit would be slower, and of course, you know, all the way forward opens that valve port the whole way. Mm -hmm. and then come back does the same thing. Opens that valve port. Same thing, only different the other right, the direction, other the other way. This is this are brakes right here. The brakes. Now for this one, brakes to work. Uh, are, are we taking steam pressure? It takes steam to operate the air pump. 
So you got to build up steam, get the air pump going. Okay. The air pump works off steam, mm -hmm. and then it will charge up the system air-wise. And then, and then in this system, do you need air pressure to actuate the brakes? In the event of an emergency, you yes, need this, air. Yes, it's called straight air. So uh -huh. it takes air to actuate. Mm -hmm. On cars with triple valves, you're actually taking the air away Way. to actuate, uh -huh. which is a safety feature. Right. And then all of this is uh, steam plumbing up here. Yep, just valves for every every you know appliance we have. Um, so the manifold. Yes, yeah, so explain comes to the steam got. dome. So okay. steam dome manifold. So steam out here, steam through here, steam <laughs> down through the injectors to pick up water. And these injectors, that's just for your fire to get your flame going that's, for the fire. It's not that's injector water. Mm -hmm. So water it's taking water. water from the tender, putting it into the boiler. Okay. And the pressure, the steam pressure vessel, what's holding the steam pressure? This this whole boiler? Yep, the whole mm -hmm. boiler. Mm -hmm. We haven't got our steam gauge installed yet. That's next on the list, but it goes right yeah. up there. You see that big blank up there? That on big, the left? Right over there. here? That's where okay. our steam gauge goes. Because that's your brake, that's air brake air. pressure exactly. there. All right, yeah. so a big steam gauge goes yeah. here. So we run about 120 PSI. Somewhere in air would be the preferred. Operating and then you would have a, a relief like on the porter there. We have two reliefs, one set at 130, one set at 133. So if we get too much, it will pop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is this fire going to be easier to control being an oil fired than a wood fired job? I'm hearing yes. <laughs> I haven't got that far yet, but uh -huh. yeah, you could shut the fire off right away compared mm -hmm. to wood. You know, you don't really can't really shut it off right away. But you know, oil is a little bit more volatile than wood, so it's a whole different process on mm -hmm. firing compared to wood. Okay, so we're looking forward to steaming this thing up any day now. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, many, many years. All right, so I can see, what are we looking at here? I see the, the boiler so tubes the back in there. It, we got our, our tubes, that's where the heat from the front end comes. Yeah. And, that, and there's water around those tubes, that's what makes the steam, and then these two circular pipes that's called branch piping so we have a pipe in the that goes through to the steam domes steam comes through then it splits to each cylinder and then in the middle is what we call the petticoat so the middle is the exhaust and this flexible line is a blower so I use it to create draft so there will mm. be steam coming out of there which is controlled from the cab mm -hmm. so if I need draft I'll open a valve and steam will come out at high velocity and will pull all the hot gases through the boiler and up, up through the and stack. right up through the stack that way yeah huh and that's what's all been required to have been certified uh, by the state well, yes, the state is just mainly concerned about the vessel itself. Uh, he does concern himself with everything else. Um, and you can still find those inspectors, or is it hard, really hard oh, to no, find? Oh, that's, no, that's what they do. Any pressure yeah. vessel, I believe, in California yeah. needs to be inspected, whether it's air, steam, or anything. Mm -hmm. And they still know what they're looking at with this oh, older yeah. technology? Yep. Good. All right. And then is one of these domes a, a sander, that, that dome right the there? The middle one is the sand, the back one is the steam dome. So it drops it right down and gets you some, some uh, traction right there. Good. Now let's walk through this again because I may have lost it on that first clip. So we got the, um, the, the pistons right here. This is where the power is happening. So the steam is moving from here into here and then into the uh, pistons. Into the cylinder, yep. The cylinders. And... Depending on which side, depends whether you're forward or back, reverse. Right, there's a plate in here that moves forward and back mm -hmm. that opens up slots for exhaust mm -hmm. steam in. Okay, and that's controlled by the mm, Johnson bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And then you've got your arms running the drivers, which it means that this is the driver. Back. Both of these. Uh huh. That's the crosshead, and it slides back, so it pushes. The wheels and the wheels on either side are 90 degrees off so that there's always a chung motion. chung chung motion uh-huh and that's where you got to adjust these things just so to get that all synchronized yeah. just right and then uh, moving this 
Well, no, no so the, the, these are on pins, right, on the wheels. Mm -hmm. So they don't, their relative position to each other doesn't change. Mm -hmm. So it's moving elliptically. Yeah, both sides are tied together. Yeah, and then the Johnson bar works centrics up here. It just changed, right here is all the Johnson bar linkage. You see all this stuff? Right oh, here? over here, uh-huh. Yeah. And then you can see the eccentrics. Back down there. there. Those are the eccentrics. Uh-huh. Good. And what does that mean, the eccentrics? That just, with the Johnson so, bar, that means... So, it's an offset. So as it goes around... It, ah, it moves the valves. Like a radial engine sort of yeah. motion. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. This is our air pump. Oh, okay. For, for you're getting the air for the brakes. For the brakes. Yeah, and that's uh -huh. our steam line up there. Top half is steam, bottom half is air. It's basically... So steam drives it and... It drives a piston, yep. and then that rod drives another piston, which compresses the air. There, here, which gets your brakes. Yeah, and the air comes out, goes through a series of pipes for cooling the air because it gets really hot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then it goes into two tanks. Okay. Comes back into one side of the valve and out to your brake, brake cylinder. And you got your brakes going on right here? Mm-hmm. All right. And then do you have, I see brakes back there as well? Yeah, and the tender couple. has brakes too. And so that is air brake coupling through all those hoses right, right yeah, there. The two big lines are water, we have a fuel line, and then an air line. Well, she's looking pretty close to airworthy condition here. That's an amazing feat. After all these years, thanks so much for the tour, Dan. You are welcome. That's the number five locomotive at the Nevada County Narrow Gauge Railroad. Going to be steamed up for the first time in many, many years here any day now. So stay tuned for that.